Hi, this is Werner from Skapago again, and today I'd like to talk about grammar. Um, I think grammar is both over and underrated in language learning. It's overrated in the traditional methods where basically everything that was taught was grammar. You still even have this expression grammar school, which obviously comes from that fact that language teaching was basically grammar teaching and nothing else. But even in modern uh, language schools, I'm often mesmerized how little teachers spend on improving pronunciation and how much time they spend on even solving a minor grammar issue. Um, on the other hand, since around the 1970s, we've had this trend of not learning grammar at all. Um, students should understand the functioning of the language intuitively, like a child, um, by imitation, um, all these ideas. Um, I think that is an extreme that goes to the other direction and also has its disadvantages. Because I believe that as an adult you actually have a lot of advantages if you understand the grammar of a language, even profoundly. Now, a sound understanding of how the language works gives you this feeling of mastering, of knowing what you're actually doing, even if sometimes you're not able to apply it 100% correctly. So you might make mistakes with a certain grammar issue that are not very consequential, but at least you have the theoretical understanding which gives you somehow a framework of what you're actually doing. Um, the second point is that some grammar is actually definitely necessary. In almost every language you have grammar issues that are so important that if you get them wrong uh, people will not understand you or you will sound very very weird. And that is why I came up with this idea of making um, survival guides for grammar where I group grammar into, dif into different categories. I call it red grammar, yellow grammar and green grammar. The red grammar is what I've just uh, talked about, the grammar that you absolutely need to understand and need to master actively because otherwise native speakers are not going to understand you. Mm. The yellow grammar is this like nice to have and the green grammar is well if you get it wrong then you get it wrong but of course still if you want to be very good um, you should you should learn it. Now why is it that um, in even in our textbooks, online courses, um, you will have this green grammar even early on in the book. Mm, the reason is that I believe, as I said earlier, that you should understand how the language functions theoretically. There is no way to, or there is no reason to hide it from you um, because it's, well, it's even interesting, I would say, what, uh, to, to have some background information. Um, why would you not want that? Well, I can tell you why, because in school it was required that once you learned it you're supposed to be able to apply it and there was an exam and that gave you nightmares and so on and so on. So what do you do if you have like this kind of trauma from, from high school or, or middle school? Mm, in a way I believe in exposure therapy. Open a grammar book, look at it, enjoy the heartbeat, the sweat, the despair and then tell yourself I don't need to pass an exam on this tomorrow. If I understand it, cool. If I don't, so what? And you will see that it will go away, you know. Um, so today I'd like to invite you to um, work a little bit on, on your attitude towards grammar and my challenge for today is pick one grammar item or topic that has been bothering you for a long time, find some source where you can read it up, I'm going to share a little bit of resources in the, uh, in the links below and try to fix it, like read it up, try to explain it to someone else, maybe even an imaginary friend, um, so that you have this feeling, okay, now I know what's going on there. Even if you might not be able to master it, so that means when you're speaking, you might still make mistakes with it. That's fine. Um, this is something we can, we can fix over time. Um, yeah, and please share in the comments what that grammar topic is. Um, feel also free to ask questions about grammar learning or 
to share your experience with, with grammar. And I'll see you in the next video.